Hello, I'm Joseph Kassa, and what I want to do today is to show you how learning to be a systems thinker is easier and much cheaper than you thought. And I'm using Zoom to demonstrate how I teach and also to create the video. So I will share my screen with you without further ado. And here's the introduction. Learning to be a systems thinker is easier and much cheaper than you thought. I, yours truly. First of all, the benefits of systems thinking to you are, you will be less likely to be manipulated by other people because you'll be able to think for yourself and understand their reasoning and why their reasoning may not be totally correct. You will have a competitive advantage because you will understand how things are organized and arranged when other people don't. You will perceive solutions where and when others perceive problems because of that competitive advantage. And you will be able to tackle complex problems successfully. Been there and done that. Well, if these are all the benefits, why aren't more people doing it? Basic question. Let's look. Once upon a time, I was teaching postgraduate classes in systems engineering in the Systems Engineering and Evaluation Center at the University of South Australia. I could teach the history of systems thinking. I could teach the benefits of systems thinking, but I could not teach how to be a systems thinker. I could tell students that in 20 years time, if they were doing it, they would know it. But if you think about that situation, that's not very desirable. Why? Well, if you look in the literature, you will find many definitions of systems engineering, many and all sorts of drawings like this. I looked in the PowerPoint clipper and I came up with this drawing. Systems thinking is in the middle, but there's no output. And flow, value, and whatever the last one is, capability, don't seem to relate to any of the others. Or this one. It's a very nice drawing. It's, it's good for hanging on a wall, but it violates the basic principles of systems thinking, which include keep it simple student and the principle of hierarchies. Or this one. A colorful thing, but it's so ambiguous, it's meaningless. I really don't like these kind of drawings. Or this one. There's a wheel. All this stuff in it. And so you look at things like this and you say, well, well, go away, it's not for me. Well, let me tell you that this is not what systems thinking is all about. I didn't like that situation where I couldn't teach systems thinking. And so I had the chance to go to the UK. And so I moved from the purple dot that's Adelaide in Australia all the way to Cranfield in the UK under a grant from the Leverhulme Trust and developed a, a way of teaching systems thinking as part of developing a applied course in systems engineering. And a year later, when that was done, I was asked to go to Singapore and I went to Singapore, that little red dot on the map, and continued the research in working out how to teach systems thinking in an effective way. So part of that research was to sort through the junk that's in the literature and identified signals in the noise. If you're an electrical engineer or communication engineer, you'll understand what that meant. And I found two schools of thought, systemic and systematic thinking. And most people thought one was system thinking or the other was systems thinking. Only one person realized that you had to do both. And so you too can be a systems thinker because I developed a simple, effective way to teach systems thinking. I started teaching this way in 2008 and I'm still fine tuning it. 
and I found that postgraduate students found it easy to learn. I taught this to students in Australia, Germany, Israel, Singapore, South Africa, Switzerland, and the UK, and they found it easy to learn. In the early days, I was teaching it in Taiwan, Japan, and they found it easy to learn as well, but it's much better now. And as part of that research, I developed new tools for project management, systems engineering, postgraduate and continuing education, some of which I've published in other YouTube videos. And there is no reason why you cannot learn it as well. It's based around the holistic thinking perspectives. This work came out of an earlier set of perspectives from somebody named Barry Richmond. And we took Barry's work and expanded on it, adjusted it. And if you've seen the story of the blind man feeling the elephant, what this does, it makes you act as all the blind man. You feel the element, the elephant from a set of perspectives, eight descriptive perspectives where you're watching and looking and feeling it. And the ninth perspective is the output, your conclusions and your inference. And I will teach you all that in this class, systems thinking and beyond. You will learn about the hotel, the HTPs and their applications to problems and complex problems, project management, systems engineering, risk management and prevention. And I will be using something called the Balance Classroom to maximize your learning, let you practice using the HTPs and let you receive guidance to reinforce in your learning. And you will get three free textbooks in PDF format. A, moment, a, a word or two about the balanced classroom. If you know anything about education, uh, there was a big fad about 10 years ago called the flipped classroom. It didn't work because there was a fundamental issue with it. However, I was able to overcome that fundamental issue with something called knowledge readings. And I published a paper on it. But a knowledge reading provides you the benefits of all six levels in Bloom's taxonomy as part of your learning. And we're going to be using that approach. The three textbooks are Holistic Thinking, Perceptions of Systems Engineering, and a Framework for Understanding Systems Engineering. You will get them in PDF format. And that's $109 worth of value. The value. You're going to learn in balanced classroom, not block mode. Block mode classes are often a waste of time because there's no thinking time. You get taught a whole lot and it just goes straight past. You just as well might read the book and save the fee. It goes beyond the flipped classroom and it's going to be spread out over 10 sessions, one three hour session a week. And you could expect to pay $4,000 for that kind of class. You also get three free textbooks, and that's $109.85 value. However, I realize that you will be paying for this, not your company, so I'm doing some special COVID discounted classes. Yes, 199 euros, only 199 euros, and that is really cheap. It's almost free with you paying something to demonstrate your seriousness. But class size is limited to maximize the instructor participant interaction because a lot of the learning is in the interaction and the discussions over the exercises. So go to the URL on the web page for further details and registration. And Thank you very much for listening, watching, and I hope to see you in class soon. Bye for now.